Jason will now attempt to solve a mathematical problem with a little help from the spirit world. He begins by showing us two old-fashioned slates. Kids used to write on these in school. The original laptops. He takes one of the blank slates and uses a piece of chalk to write some numbers. Seven. Five. And a plus sign. Not exactly high finance, but it is a kid's chalkboard. Maybe he wants to go easy on the spirits. He leaves the solution blank, then places the two slates face to face. And just so that the spirits will have something to write with, he tosses in a piece of chalk. I think magical spirits would have magical chalk, but this is his trick, not mine. He gives the slates a couple of shakes, and presto, there's the solution. Seven plus five equals 12. Adding was never so spooky. How does the magician solve this magical math problem and get the spirits to give him the answer? The secret here lies within the two identical slates. First of all, they're not identical. One of the slates has been cleverly rigged with a secret panel that fits within the frame. This thin piece of slate already has the solution written on it. The magician writes the mathematical problem and solution on the back of this panel, then loads it into the frame so we can't see the numbers. When he puts the two slates together, this secret panel flips down into the other slate, revealing the solution. Without showing us the writing on the panel, he drops in the chalk just for theatrical effect. When he thinks we're convinced the spirits are done, he separates the slates, revealing his pre-written solution. The illusion is complete, and he never even summoned one spirit.